from the highest level, the post labor, post labor economics kind of um, vision that you've been sharing, like what, what should we be thinking about right now? Kind of the mantra that I've come up with is better, faster, cheaper, safer. And so historically, whenever a technology or new way of doing things surpasses the old way of doing things on those four metrics, it usually becomes inevitable. We're having fully automated, you know, AI powered uh, farm equipment now. Uh, each of those cases, there's, there's usually, there's a few ways of looking at it. So time, you know, it's something you can measure with a watch. There's energy input. Um, if something is more energetically efficient, human labor is a huge component. So that's all going away as well. So that's the, that's the kind of part one is better, faster, cheaper, safer. Machines replace humans. We've seen this time and again over the last few centuries. So the next component is, okay, well, if that, if you take that out to its maximum conclusion, then you end up in a situation where who has jobs anymore, right? Or, or even if there are some jobs left, if a good chunk of today's jobs go away, then what do you do if you have 20, 30, 40% unemployment rate? That requires an entirely new economic paradigm. Uh, and so that's what we call the economic agency paradox, which is basically technology makes goods and services cheaper, uh, but at the same time, it takes the wages that you'd use to pay for those new goods and services. So then nobody has any money in order to pay for those things that, because they lost jobs. And so the whole economy kind of breaks down 